spent the last few weeks getting a glimpse, a small window into the experiences of the people of Gaza that have been starved for six months. The hunger that you feel right now, the thirst, the tiredness, the exhaustion is nothing compared to the experiences of our people in Gaza. And so do you feel tired? No! Do you feel weak? No! Do you feel like giving up? No! We all say no because our people in Gaza are what gives us energy. It is our resistance in the region that gives us our compass, that tells us how we should feel, who our enemy is, and what the path forward is. So today, on the day of Al-Quds, a day in which millions of people are mobilizing all over the globe under the banner of the flood of the free. This day, this day is not a day where we mourn. This day is a day where we reaffirm our promise to the people of Palestine. Every single one of you, all of the organizations, no matter your background, no matter your sect, no matter your ethnicity, all of us here, we are part of the movement for the struggle for liberation. All of us. And everything that we do, our mobilizations and direct actions, our speak outs, our posts, everything we do is as part of a front, is part of the struggle. It is part of the resistance to Zionism and imperialism. We are one arrow out of a million arrows directed at imperialism and Zionism. So these six months that we've experienced, where we've watched genocide, we've not just watched, we've confronted. And despite the feelings of despair, despite the feelings of powerlessness and hopelessness, we remain steadfast and resilient. The Palestinian people have shown us what it means to truly live a dignified life. They have shown us what it means to truly confront humiliation. The Palestinian people have shown us what it means to confront U.S. empire and Israeli settler colonialism with your head held high, standing on your feet. So where are we now? What is going on in Gaza? What is happening with the negotiations? What is happening in the region? For six months, the Israelis have unleashed a relentless genocidal campaign on our people. From day one, they said they have two goals, to eliminate the resistance and to recover their hostages. Have they achieved a single goal? No! The only thing they have achieved is death and destruction of the civilian population because they know they cannot defeat the resistance so they must destroy women and children, schools and mosques so that they try to instill in the people of Gaza a feeling of helplessness and despair but if they, they have failed on that front as well. So where are we now? Every week, the Israelis go back and redraw their plan for negotiations. Every week, the resistance tells them, we demand nothing less than full withdrawal from Gaza. The Palestinian resistance is steadfast because we are all steadfast. So we are getting closer to the day that we not only mourn our martyrs, but we celebrate their sacrifices. We not only mourn the destruction, but we re rebuild Gaza bigger and stronger and more resilient than it was before October 7th. We will honor all our martyrs. All our parents, mothers, fathers.
all our children, sons and daughters. Gaza, Gaza does not belong to Gazans or to Palestinians or to Arabs or to Muslims. Gaza belongs to the free people of the world, to those who believe in dignity and freedom, to those who believe in honor and justice. Gaza is yours. Gaza is your model. Gaza is your compass. Gaza is your example. Gaza is the one that teaches every one of us life and struggle. Gaza should change who you are forever. Ibrahim Nabirsi, the late martyr, his mother said that we do not bury our martyrs. We plant them in the earth so that they may be the seeds that grows the fighters who will redeem our people and bring us to liberation. Long live Gaza, long live Palestine, long live our noble resistance until justice and liberation in return. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine.